If you want to use visual analysis to answer questions without writing any SQL, Mode Explorations are for you. Mode Explorations allow you to build your own visual analysis on top of a data result set that has already been generated in Mode. For example, this is a report with data about customer onboarding and seat adoption. Let's say you wanted to know what the average number of days in onboarding is for accounts that hit the seed adoption target compared to those that don't. To answer this question, you would need to perform some additional analysis. Let's see how the exploration feature makes answering that question simple and quick. You can start a new exploration by selecting the Explore button. This will open up the Visualization Builder. This gives you the behind the scenes look to see exactly how the original chart was built. To start your visual analysis, you can choose what type of visualization you want to create using the selector menu at the top. Visual Explorer gives you the flexibility to try different types of visualizations and pivot from one to the next as you analyze. Or, if you know the specific type of visualization you want to create, the quick charts options make it really simple to get started. The original visualization in this example was built using Visual Explorer, which I'll continue to use for my exploration. We can see that the original faceted bar chart was created using the segment and hit seat adoption fields in the columns drop zone. The aggregate number of accounts is what is being compared here in the measure values drop zone. Since I want to see the average days in onboarding of accounts that hit seed adoption and those that didn't, I will remove the number of accounts pill by clicking and selecting remove or simply dragging it out of the drop zone. Now I'll locate the days in onboarding measure and drag and drop it into that same drop zone. Just like that, I have a new chart, but it's not quite right yet. I need to change the aggregate from sum to average. That's an easy fix. Voila, now I have my answers. I can see the average number of days in onboarding for customers that hit the seed adoption target compared to those that didn't. You can also use calculated fields in explorations. Calculated fields allow you to define custom fields that are local to the exploration. This gives you the flexibility to further analyze and slice your data. For example, if I wanted to see how MPS scores varied for customers who hit seed adoption compared to those that didn't, I'd first need to add the MPS calculation as a calculated field. Now that it's available in the measures section, I can add it to my visualization to get the answers. To complete this exploration, I need to update the y-axis with the appropriate title. You can access the chart's format options from the right side pane. Choose the field that you want to format, then make your changes. In this example, I simply need to update the title from Number of Accounts to Average Days in Onboarding. You can save your explorations so you can come back to them or share them with others on your team. To do so, Select the Save Exploration button and give your exploration a descriptive name and description. You'll be able to locate your saved explorations from My Explorations in the Mode menu. Saved Explorations will automatically update to show a query's most recent successful results. To share an exploration, open it up and select the Share button. This will copy the link to your clipboard for easy sharing with your team. When viewing your exploration, they'll be able to see the source report as well as other key information about the data. Now it's your turn to answer your own data questions using explorations. Thanks for watching.